Okay, now the shite wanted to do what I wanted it to do. Howdy folks, welcome back. Well, good afternoon and good morning, because it's 3.21pm. Yes, I've been slacking for a long time, but that's because... Well, I tried to record two videos for today for my gaming channel yesterday, but I recorded the second one. Which was supposed to be a uh, video of uh, that the Technic, the 1.7.10 pack is back on the Technic launcher. And, uh... And, um... Well, for some reason, my uh, OBS just quit. Uh, or, well... Not quick, but it wouldn't stop the recording. So the recording never got saved. And uh, the thing is, when that happened, she was like 4.30 a.m. And, uh, and, uh, because earlier I had problems with my network. First of all, I had a weird ass thing happened with my... First of all, I had problems getting my fucking washer to communicate with smart things. That was an easy fix in grounded reason. After me trying to reset the up like five times. Went into my router, changed my 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi band channel from its auto select of one to uh, to uh, to to uh, channel eight. Boom, washer communicated immediately, so hopefully that won't be a problem anymore. And everything else of my 2.4 gigahertz devices seems to be working fine on that channel, so I'm gonna leave it at that channel. Then the second thing was that I had a VNAS Windows device showing up as MSFT50, and it was showing up as a wired device. But I had no other Windows wired device on my Switch besides for my main computer, and my laptop. Those were the only wired Microsoft things on there. I restarted my router, that disappeared. But I also tried to get into my switch to the management port we set up in another video I did, which was the VLAN that this video, which is port 23. Well, I set my IP address manually on the machine I normally use for HVAC and network configuration. Uh, that one took me to Windows IIS, Internet Information Services. Then I went to my laptop, set up the manual IP on that one. Well, then it didn't even want to communicate with the darn fucking. So, uh. Huh. So, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. Anywho, today is gonna be a little bit of an everything day. Uh, I'm gonna get that Microsoft Flight Sim video edited, which is when we go from Osaka to Shidubu, uh, Japan. And, uh, uh, so what we're gonna try, we, we're gonna have a look at my windows. Try and see if we can get my windows to cooperate and figure out what is causing the my windows problems. And I'm gonna move that from on top of there so this at least doesn't start to melt. Because currently, since I can run my radiator fans so low now, it's quite hot around this area while my fans ain't like blasting the radiator. So, so uh, that we're gonna do. I'm gonna head out to El Shop and I'm gonna see if I can find a uh, uh, speedy for optical. Um, to analog converter so that way I can uh, get sound out of my TV box because my TV box have a tool sync speedy app but uh, it uh, for some reason my uh, diggy 002 uh, does well that I plug in the fiber optic it doesn't do shit so pretty much what I'm gonna do now is just use a tiny little uh, uh, digital to analog converter just boop tool sync in Boop RCA out into my Digi002 and then I'm just going to run the A-Line from my Digi002 into my X32, set up an old channel for it, just leave the channel at uh, at Unity on that one and just control the audio from my Digi002 for the time being. Of course, when I get a proper TV there, I'm not going to have space to that one on top of the desk. But then again, then I have a TV so that, well, I can run the sound into the TV and then I can run out of the TV over to my X32 or well, eventually it's going to go into a GBL soundbar with a wireless sub. So that way I don't have to have this stuff mixed in with my audio stuff, my TV stuff, since the TV stuff is going to be blasting there, not here. So yeah, so I am doing a soundbar approach for now. 
It is actually a 5.1 sound bar. Like omnidirectional 5.1 thingy bob up from the ABL. Uh, I have it. Well, I believe I have it. Well, I took I took a picture of it, I know. Well, I haven't moved those TikToks yet, but uh, yes, the GBL bar 500. So it's a 590 watt with a subwoofer, multi beams around with a wireless subwoofer. And it's like, yes, well, 690 the reach you can hold. So about 600 and $91 roughly, something about that thing, well, but then I can go in the, uh, well, then I can pay those customs, so that's just done. Open in the Livardi, 257, quick tearing for your post, I accept it, but hard vips, confirm, biometrics, Send post and payment. Payment is successful. So then I could go pick that fucker up, which it says it is sticker or something. And those stickers were, I think, supposed to arrive in January somewhere. So that's just called ex. And that just says how long either the shipper was delayed or how long it was stuck in customs because some kind of documentation was missing. Because those were sent from Germany, technically speaking. So technically speaking, those are not supposed to be imported. But I'm too lazy to bother dealing with import papers and talking to customs and all that shit. Of all the nice thing is, I've also got the Yet Carrier set up. So I actually have a US address now. So I can shop things in the US. I can send it to my, uh, my US address at Yet Carrier. And then I can manually do the shipping and the logistics, which means I'll save insanely on both shipping and import because I'm handling the logistics myself from it in the country. Which means I can pay every ball, everything pre-hand so I don't get any surprises when it gets into the country. And if they then come and say, hey, you need to pay tax for this, I can download the document from yet and send them it be like, no, I did the logistics, I already added the tax payment into the logistics, so I am not gonna pay any extra tax, so then they can't say shit, so that's nice. So that's really where we are, uh, so yeah, holy hell. So yeah, so I'm gonna sit around there now, I'm gonna watch this video, I'm gonna drink some coffee, Oscar is gonna head over and eat first, and we're gonna, uh, tell, make up a time where he's gonna come and pick me up at, the uh, Tilly uh, and then we'll be heading over here. So I'm gonna watch the this, take some coffee, edit that Microsoft Flight Sim video, maybe record something quickly, something older that I do not have to edit that much, uh, and then I'll be heading out. So I'll update you guys in a while. Well, why? <laughs> Whatever the fuck the airport was called again. But uh, where did my chrome go? So if I quit it and then reopen it. Thank you. And then hold up. Label. Voice over. Pop you up there. So basically we got the gameplay audio built in here and then we got the uh, per se Adobe Audition audio so I sync the video up at the beginning of the video so soon now we should have the peak files so around here somewhere I think is where we start maybe nope that is over here somewhere, I think. Maybe it's here. I think it's here. So that's the record mark. I'm gonna go and change my sequence before I forget that. To go proceed in the form, not really, the, not really related to, you know, normal just H64 internal footage, but...
there we go then we do a we cut across the entire thing right there we delete everything behind we link the media we unlink you from the game sound we link that entire group of media so i can cut them together we zoom out we go all the way back to the start we give her a default transition but a big bada boom and boom we roll and we have gameplay audio and we have normal audio so that is how I now see audio between the stuff I record in Adobe Edition and the stuff I record in uh, OBS so that way I can alter the game sound in post and not have to just stick with the sound I have because uh, both microphone and game is baked into the same soundtrack so I'm gonna start cracking down on this shoy. Okay folks I'm back just to update you guys real quick. Uh, I am now about to go into Technic and just quickly record like a 15 minute video of like the stuff that uh, I took up yesterday uh, just to have a second video to upload today then I'm gonna export them and then the next bus that goes after I'm done with that I'm gonna be taking and going up to Tinder to get see if I can find that speed if to analog thing him up, up and get all of that uh, shenanigans sorted out so if you're wondering how I record my videos now okay I got the game, then we have the OBS, which only records game audio. Then we got the Dome Edition, which records my actual microphone. So that way I can just game volume and microphone level separately in post. And then of course I edit it all together inside of uh, Premiere. So that's how my video processes go nowadays. So yeah, so I'm going to do that and uh, I'll update you guys after that. Okay. I'm back folks, I'm on my bump hook. Seriously, it's off this playport cable, why are they giving up now? <laughs> well... Guess I gotta throw this one in when I'm back home. So, I'm done editing and recorded that Tech It 1, 7, 10 pack shit real quick again. Cooking coffee to put on the cam. I need to head out soon. So yeah, I'm just having a quick bun. Well, I mean, if he comes before I'm done, he'll just come in, but... <sighs> so then... So, yeah. So, headset goes on there. So, you can charge. I'm gonna put this on... Out bed and charge, so it's ready. And then I'm gonna go... I'm 32 edit. So, well, that is ready. Well, there goes 127. So, I suppose it is not the end of the world. Left, right, both are a hundred percent, good. Then I go YouTube, phone, notifications, packing orders with handcam. Then I have something to listen to. Then I put you up in full screen, unlock my phone. I swipe to the side, open the calculator and do that. And then do that. So that way I don't have to have the mini thing open because before I just closed it and then just wipe down and press play again. But the play thingy has gotten funky. When you like close it through the like mini player thing in my butt. So uh yeah. So yeah, so this one is gonna cleanse through. Then we're gonna fill up my coffee can. Then now uh, we're heading out. Because then that what's gonna happen for us is that this one is gonna plug into that converter and RCA is just gonna pop it right into this one. This one is just gonna stand in standalone. And now I will feed over into my mixer and then this will just send that unity and uh well either will adjust it through the tuner or we'll just be adjusting it through the master volume so that is how we're gonna do that so then i'll upload those when i'm back home and then he'll get his diesel mm -hmm. so yeah so i'll update you guys when we're on tiller to you well, they don't know till it happened on, I'm about to head up over towards Tilly Twiggy. Oscar is already there, so we'll be meeting him on the way, but then, uh, yeah. So let's go and see if we can find this gosh darn deck, so I can fix the audio. <sighs> well, we are back home. Nej, det är så på köken. Don't mind the mess, the insanity. Där, gula barn. That's on. Oh. 
Der har du kaffe. Ah, da er det ut av veien. Lord. Jeg begynte å spikulere. Så da... Hei. Er det her... Vent, er det her USB til... Ok, jeg var på tur til å si at det her USB til barrelljakk, tenkte jeg. Så ja, der har vi... Tiny Daken. Ja, sett the TV output to PSM. Ja, jeg håper at den er sotte til PSM allerede. Men det er jo jævlig flott da, for det vil jo si at jeg kan bare powere skipen her av TV-boksen. Howdy. Så, du går der. Så, USB. Du har power, så går du ut bak her opp. We don't speak about that. Og så plugger jeg Optikalen inn der. Locked Optical Power. Good! Så har vi probably den lengste fra. Fuckings RSA-coveren. Der, ikke en lengste faktisk, for den som ligger bak i der er 10 fuckings meter med RSA. Men hvis den her er 3 meter, vel, nå er jo det problemet da, at vi har en annen RSA som er plugget inn akkurat der. He. For... Vel, da får vi, da får vi sacrifice den ene fuckings, den ene RSA-en til 3,5 som er plugget inn der akkurat nå. Det er for å ikke få støv på den, så vanligvis bare kontrollerer den i denne softwaren. Hallo. Så. Der har du hva jeg mener. Det er så på det work. Men da får vi gjøre den initial ED-en som er å gå inn i denne jekkeren. Via bitte bitte bappa alternate SRC input. Og så pakk deg på meter, og så... Blu... Ju... Og så... Må jeg være sikkert krenke opp den her, Evan? Eller så håper vi i hvert fall. Vel, jeg sier jeg har lyd i hvert fall. Ehm... Som er kind of interesting. Hvorfor ikke det lyd på han? Å ja, fordi at andre sier jeg ikke er unmuta da, faen. Jeg glemte av at de to akkurat der ikke linka. 
Så går vi over på Masterfaders, og så trenger vi to fucking sexalærere som må gå over dit. It's a, it's so hot back in here. No. Fram till kanal 8 blir brukt som vill säga si att du blir kanal 9. Så du blir då left. Det är fan i helvete. Uh, så vi si, du blir TV left. Uh, aha. TV right. Klonk, channel, stereo link, boom. Yes. Så vi si, at da blir du TV left right. Uh, TV left right. Ok. Så da. I. What's, the, what's behind the TV? Stays behind the TV. Main output left. Jesus. Så skjep du ut der, du går på plass. Bak her, så bare syr du opp her. Så går du inn i der. Dock to a unity, yes. So we see unmute, turn up. Vel, vi har en output, eller input. Yep. Hmm, I wonder why there's no sound. Hmm. Well, it's pretty obvious. But there's no sound. There. Og så da vi starter, jeg synes det skal være noe, så skal jeg aldri trenge å røre. Ok, that's just the keyboard. Ok, og så, der er porten. Der er det nye kabel. Nei, jævlar. Ikke bare det er på å skru deg på enda. Helvete. Well, shit happens. Ut. In. Problem solved. We hope.
Yes. That was what was not supposed to happen. Well, now it fixed itself. Lost connection. Are you sure about that? Du, du must have a single fucking connection. Du. Oh, yes. That's the day. Det er da, som er litt sånn spørsmål da, hvorfor i faen den holdt på på det viset der. For at jeg trodde jo først at det var CPU-instability. For at når jeg bare startet den opp, altså bare testet der. Ok, hello folks, we are back. Så har jeg did record half of the stuff we did, although we did really do a bunch. Pretty much, we did the field act stuff. And then, well, we tried to figure out my computer, and well, we're at the point in my computer that I am backing shit up again, and I'm just gonna be reinstalling it again. And other than that, we're not really far. Other than that, we were just sitting here looking at the box for this stuff, and well, just watching, well, YouTube and some of my stuff. Now as we well have audio here, we can actually well watch shit on uh, this thing. So basically currently I just have the master out and the SRC of my mixer. So... These two are set to zero, and then my master fader is turned up to zero as well. And then we have this. I did not mean to turn you off. So basically, it's this tiny few Taishan DAC we're using, so it's currently getting. DC 5 volts from my tuner actually, and then we got the optical coming from that one. And then we just have RCA left right going out of the DAC into this one, SRC to this one, and the main outs of this one traveling all the way over to channel 9 and 10 of my X32. And that is how I do my TV audio. Uh, I'm actually gonna send that clip to that to Yashi real quick. Well, Yash, I have sound from my TV box. So what we're doing here is that basically on the back of this one, we got optical and a USB. So the USB and optical is going into the 5 volt power in and the optical in of this Fio uh, Taishan DAC, which converts that over to RCA. Then the RCA of this goes into this one. My SRCs are at Unity. My masters are at Unity. And then that comes out from that one again via XLR. Goes all the way over to my X32. Comes in on channel 9 and 10 on the back of here. And that's also set at Unity. So I'm just controlling the volume like normal through my... Uh, TV box remote. So that's how my TV sound works now. Just watching TV or YouTube slash per se or playing something on my or oh, this thing is really the only thing I could do at the moment because I'm waiting for that shit to back shit up. I could take and upload my YouTube videos, I guess. Uh, that is my coffee cup. That is his coffee cup. That's the USB stick for that one. So basically, as far as audio goes, I guess we'll be using the, uh, well, this one, I guess, as far as this one goes. Then Yashi, and then this one. And then pretty much we've done everything as far as we can. I'll just delete all of these, uh, I'll just 
take um, a discard all of these events. One or more was discarded. Och det här är bara sån file service, power management, bla 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 bla. Good. So we see up the discard. Yes. That should make my audit count go down drastically. Boom, 68. So all of these are just powered on, powered down. Well, then I can remove those two as well. Well, a new discard from repository will show up. But this heat gun can, quote unquote, uh, go back out in the hallway. So, well, what I could also do, well, meanwhile, I'm sitting around waiting for that one. Is it drastically clean, I guess. And yes, as I thought, they just threw that thing out here. Yes. I mean, preferably I would use something like spray foam or whatnot to evenly fill in this hole. But they, uh, you know, I really hope they're gonna like fill this in more properly eventually. Now I know the pipes are ran, but uh, to be completely honest with you, I don't know if they have sweated these pipes yet. Or well, I don't know if they even sweated the pipes, it looked like they actually crimped the pipes instead of sweating them. And I mean, that should be fine. As far as sealant goes, if it is a uh, water system, if it was a gas system, that would never work. But Because here is the pipes coming out, and you can see here, I've just packed this thing just around them. Just to keep them... To keep it sealed. I know some people are gonna come at me and be like that. It's not how you fill the hole. And well, yes, I know. So yeah, so I'll probably just be sitting around here and updating you guys on the way. Eller vart du färdig? Må back up nu. The big question now is where did I put the like Windows file name, rename, thing in my Because I did not transfer that, I don't think. Which means I kind of need to find that. <sighs> Men nej då. Vi gick ju färdigt med fucking vintern. Gick jag inte av vart folk. Det kan jag sida säkert. Oh. Sen om man skulle önska det. Det borde ju regna då, men... Där... Varsågod! Jag får väl mig barbecue. Well, a balcony door able to be opened. So then, that one can go off. And now we're at the point of really vacuuming the shite and I have. Well, Sydnops has taken a call. Either that or it's my Chroma Connect that's trying to do shit. 
Yes, that's exactly what he's trying to do and be because of that this thing is just like no. Updates available for what? Synopsis or sure, okay. Uh, turn off. I said uh, turn off for today. Okay, so well, that is practically this thing done. For on ser du med temperaturen här nu 27,5. Jag ska låta den komma sen. I'm gonna let it go down until 27 fully. Then we'll shut that door off. We're down in 22 here now. PPM is getting better, so that's a good thing. Yeah, About time this place got aired out properly. <sighs> the only thing that is not done now is our kitchen, which needs to be cleaned out. Like a crazy man, man. And then, well, after that's done, well, then the big hassle starts off. Breed stalling this shite again. <sighs> yes, believe it or not, I am trying to reinstall this bitch again. I don't know what you guys are going to tell me. This is a bad idea. But uh, here we are. And this shite. And this place needs to be cleaned drastically. Findings of London. We. Suquettes. We. Uh, okay. We. And then we got like these two randoms. Well, here's the one random spoon. The random ass chocolate shit. Uh, a random pair of pliers and a random piece of schlonk. Clonk, 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 oh, detta jävlarskape kan gå ner där, den där jävlarn går upp i hel. Ugh. Well, then had sleep she boy you. Well, sleep. Grinding this guy say. This uh cutting this has seen better days. So then you can go here, together with my actual angle grinder. This thing can... Pull on pull off the... Go back on this thing. And uh, protect this thing from dust now as I'm done doing all my... Configurations and whatnot on this thing. Regarding my... Uh, TV. So now that thing can just stay there and just be controlled via either... But tablet, or well, I guess I have the mixing station on my phone too, don't I? Yes, I have the mixing station app even on my phone. So if I'm sitting here and suddenly something funky happens, I need to add some EQ or something. I can just do it through my phone sitting in the sofa, so... I don't need this thing to be uncovered, so... So there are you. There you are, and then I got two more receipts back in here. Yeah. And then this one does now not have any battery. This stuff gets put into accounting. <laughs> Eventually. Then I'm gonna blow clean slash vacuum clean my table as well. I have the table quote unquote available per se. Uh, 
it, yes. Um, I don't know what the fuck this thing was used for, but uh, okay, we. <sighs> A random piece of uh, neutral wire. A little unsure where that came from, but here we are. Now, how is the temperature in the bathroom? Still 25 or 27.5. So I'm gonna let her air out a little bit more. <laughs> okay, we are back and well. There's still marks on the floor, but I have watched the kitchen. As much as it's gonna be able to be washed. And I have washed here. I'm still gonna have to take this, but uh, we are now at the point where we are gonna plug in this thing and uh, we are gonna restart this thing into BIOS. Uh, well, yes, we know we don't care. So I also gotta restart it. Shite. Well, just fucking restart it. We're gonna reset my windows anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, what is first? And well, if I don't get done tonight, it's not the end of the world. I got that one. I can watch it on on my laptop. Service of the parts inside. Uh, keyboard input method. Norwegian. Yeah. Next, install now. Yeah. So, I don't have a product key. Windows 10 Pro. Which I'm sick to I'm gonna probably have a hell of a lot of Windows updates, but here we are. Uh, custom install Windows only, and then we fly, find the one that is uh, my. Uh, hold the SSD game cache thing to make primary in here. Because that is what seems to be my uh, Drive 6. Yeah, the series of the Drive 6 to make. Nah. 1 terabyte MSR, MSR, MSR is served. Nekolaj scratch disk. Ja, drive 2 volume Nekolaj scratch disk. Drive 3 partition wall Nekolaj scratch disk HDD SSD game cache. Så ja, så det vill ju se si att det är den här då. Så det är lite nära partition då. Delete recovery partition. Och så delete the uh, drive MSR drive partition. Och så delete den system partition där. för det bor jag ju på blad Så går vi nu och fly. Det här bor jag. Så da er jo da den drive partition 3 primary. Så so väl, där my system is gone and my system is getting reinstalled. And then after she is done doing the files, this drive is gonna go into very handy use for installing all my programs.
there. I was just like, why the fuck is it so deaf here? It's because there was an EQ set on that thing. The system works! We got our EQ set. Now I found out why the hell that thing had so much treble too, because the EQ was set on one of the SRCs to like kill the bass. So if I just buy an extra KRK monitor and just put it right there, theoretically speaking, that is the audio towards here, fixed technically speaking. And I mean, another KRK monitor, the same one is like, what, 200 bucks? So it's not like a huge investment. And especially with me getting my tax money, it is indeed not a huge investment. I'm getting freezes because of how good it works. It's not straight, but it works so good. Do we have like a song that's kind of like that one, which is kind of flat, we can just test? Oh, that one is probably blocking it. Well, are you little just bent? Ah. Basically, I don't know what you can see, but it's not so much bass. Well, I've had a problem. EQ on that, gain on the bass end. Cut down on pretty much 9 decibel on 123. And because of that, it was suben all the way. Men säger nu är det lite. Är det detta nog att gå bara som må?
Ok, Oscar, vi kan si jeg jo litt jobber. Det! Jeg tror jeg kan slå ned den equalizeren på den igjen jeg nå. Well, yes, I mean, the subwoofer is certainly working, so... Now I just kind of need to listen to this, but the thing is, in order for me to listen to this, I need to put these in, disable my equalizer, and then... Uh, you know... Because if not, I'm uh, gonna get the false impression, we could say. So I need to go... Sound and quality, sound and vibration, sound quality and effects put new to normal and then I need to go onto my watch, Tigimabop, my galaxy variable, and then put you to, and then I'll turn you off. Yep, we could say, uh, uh, we could say, uh, yes. We could say, with uh, clean confidence, um, uh, la subwoofer works, we could say. So now, region, no, that is not correct. That is correct, yes. Then the correct one, technically speaking, for me right now is Norwegian. Now I'm gonna add the US layout. English, United States. US. Oh, wait. Either I was quick enough about that, or I was not quick enough about that. Yes. There we go. She works. <coughs> Maybe later. Well, well, yes, I know, okay? I don't have this connected from the network, and that's for a very good reason. Please just make me sign your 
posters. I don't want to sign anything else. Please don't make me sign anything else. Nothing is a okay paper signature. We wa we wa we wa boo. It is fine. I promise everything is fine. I'm just removing some shite. Everything is fine. Wow. <laughs> that exit. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, show task view button. News and interest. Turn off. Search. Hidden. Uh, unpin from taskbar because we do not use you. Clear all. Manage notifications. Off. No, 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 no. Thank you. Then. Registry editor. Yes. Uh, HK local machine. Software. Microsoft. Uh, Windows, current version. Policies, system. Constant prompt behavior admin zero. Constant use prompt voice here. Enable Lua zero. Blah 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 blah. That's fine. Then the next thing we're gonna do comes on the line, which is turn off Windows Defender antivirus. And then we need to go Windows security settings. Because we virus and threat protection. Manage settings off, 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 tamper protection off. And then we just re add that one to be on the safe side. Yes. Then we go group policy. Uh, group policy editor. And what we're going to do here is going to go up there. Add the best three templates, Windows components, uh, Windows update, Windows update for business, select target and future version, enabled, uh, Windows te uh, enabled, Windows 10, H21, Twenty one H H two. Uh oh apply. Okay. Good. Then we can clear all of this. Then we can give this thing a restart. Then we can hook her to the internet and have her activate my windows, download this updates and all of that shenanigan. Okay, we are back folks and we are transferring the last stuff besides from the app data folder which I'm gonna pick out manually what I'm gonna keep and what I'm not gonna keep. I just got done. I thought I turned you off, but apparently not. Well, I turned you off, but like not properly off. You were like just before zero. So my intent was turning it off. Uh, uh, but she dot net user level cash. Yes, replace. Thank you very much. Which means the only thing left in our backup now is my uh, app data. Which means really now we just need to install all our applications really. And then deal with... Uh, and then deal with... Uh, the rest later. Which means uh, battle net set English US downloading new files, <coughs> updating battle net and agent. So Epic Games Launcher can come on here. Steam can come on here. So Steam, Epic Games Launcher, then battle net launcher comes. Uh, launch battle net when you start the computer. Well, no, because uh, it's not always I'm in battle net, so. And then, well, after that is like Ubisoft Connect and then the rest is games, which means after that we're on to like Java, Navigraph, Simlink, Sim Toolkit, Lightshot, uh, Plex Media Server and Plex uh, Desktop Application and stuff like that.
Steam Labs, OBS, that stuff. Close, but you go next to you. Which means now it's with Ubisoft Connect, which we don't even have in here. Uh, launch it, MSI, that's that stuff. Minecraft installer will run later. Navigraph Sim Link. We can run that one now, I guess, just to have that installed. Uh, we'll launch Navigraph Sim Link later. Navigraph Sim Link, move into EXE News. Uh, node runs. Next. I accept. Next, next, next. Next, next. Install. Boom. Node has successfully been installed. Move here. Uh, NT Light. I don't know what we were using NT Light for. To be completely honest with you. So I'm going to move that. That is the NVIDIA driver. I don't know which driver that is, but the uh, Plex Media Server. We're gonna have the 8664. Next, Plex Media Server. Plex Media Server. Install the Plex Media Server. I'm probably gonna have to re add all my stuff again, but. Launch Plex Media Server, updating library services. Do 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 one eternity later. Okay, hello folks, welcome back. Okay, well, do your fucking update first real quickly then. So that way you're just done. And well, by all luck and means, that update has also just magically given us the VR chat logo, and yes, indeed, it has. Which means we are now at the point where we are ready to give this computer. Well, I'm first gonna unpin all of this stuff from here. Then I'm gonna quickly go to my account and I'm just gonna quickly throw on my sign-in icon. We and then we are gonna give this computer a restart. We should complete all the renaming and all of this stuff. Restart anyway. And hopefully that will be kind of the end to my issues. So we hope at least. Personalized. Log screen. Picture. Browse. Log screen. We skip this version. Come on. You're saying it's starting. There we go. Yeah, it sounds like Minecraft to me. Yeah, we're not going to find any Discord in there. Because you're probably going to have me sign in again, ain't you? Look, you can still be yes. up and down. That's so funny. Look at him go. God, yes, log me in. Thank you. And then, if everything went to plan. Boom. Yes. You torrent is up to date. Yes. System cannot find this file. Yes, that makes perfect sense. File, 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 file. All this stuff has to be updated. Update everything. Wow. Now, the biggest test is 
If I click performance, you launch performance kind of normally. Good. Then, next task properties, sharing, advanced sharing, share this drive, necolive underscore ink underscore scratch underscore disk disk permissions allow everything apply 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 okay boom close then we do the same to this thing sharing advanced sharing share this drive neco live underscore ink underscore fill me up Send by permission, everything, apply, allow, apply, okay, close. So now if I go on my machine right here, I go into here, I go boom, boom, I have access. Perfect. Hours later, and the system is up and running like supposed. Det är det fortsatt en liten delay för att tryck på processen det processar laste. Men den lägger inte ut som som gör för i vart fall och så så det är nog i alla fall en god ting. Så ja. Och allt ser ut att vara slik det ska vara. Så ja. Så om den boy I'm out. Val so yeah, literally there's like literally like one more thing to do, literally, and that is to log in here. Or have this thing suddenly, oh yeah, because I imported my, ah oh yes, because I import my program data and my local flow like app data stuff and of course then this thing thought I was logged in again. And now, just to confirm that my Mozilla doesn't break anything. Uh, Boom. Yes. Honestly, Slade, really? Good. For the love of God. A little more this kind of green. Okay, no, hold up. English like US, thank you very much. Well, then, well, I gotta just upload a random ass like picture to this thing again. Water. Water on it? I'm just gonna use the same gosh darn image because why the fuck? So yeah, so this is gonna be the end of this video guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I don't even know how this video turned out and I'm not even gonna take and transfer over the video tonight even. Or tonight, this morning, the clock is fucking 6.26 a.m. So I'm gonna fucking well maybe have some fun wink wink and i'm gonna brush my teeth listen to ac bar and i'm gonna head the fuck to sleep it started like look at this it's starting to get light outside my and i ain't even sleeping so yeah so i will say thank you guys for watching stay tuned this is awesome and i'm out boy.